Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm Veronica. I'm a wife and mama from Las Vegas and I make videos on all things DIY, decor, and mama motivation. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below so you can be a part of my internet community. In today's video, I am sharing with you my 2021 spring home decor home tour. I am so excited to share with you how everything came together. I did do little videos on everything as I was going, but things have changed, so I'm so excited to share with you everything and how it turned out. So let's get started. So we are starting off in the front yard and it sounds like someone is mowing their grass, so I apologize for the background noise. But we're gonna start over here with my little gnome friend. I grabbed her at Home Goods this year and I just thought she was so perfect for spring because of her little pink flower and we just love gnomes. I did grab some more to put in the backyard but I haven't gone out there yet. So I'm so happy with her. And then walking up to the door, I did go ahead and change out my florals. Here we have some pink snapdragons. I just love snapdragons. I think they're so fun for spring and I did use this white water can on top of this little garden stool. The water can is from Michaels and I did see them the other day for 50% off and the garden stool is from Hobby Lobby this year. I grabbed that one and another one that you'll see here in a second. I also went ahead and grabbed some pink peony florals. These are from Walmart. I just thought that that little bundle was so pretty and I just stuck it in there for some more color. Moving over to the door, we have this white and tan striped rug under our hello mat. I just thought that was super inviting for spring. And as you can see, my dog is hanging out by the door with us. Over in this flower pot, I added in some beautiful lilies. I'm so excited for those to pop open. That's gonna be gorgeous. And over here, I added a pillow to this chair that my husband just recently refinished. I just love how that looks. And the final thing in the front yard is our DIY wreath. It's so big it doesn't even fit in the frame. How funny. So there it is. It's so pretty. I love the pinks and the whites for spring. The little touches of lamb's ear just give it that nice green pop that it needs for freshness just like a spring new beginning. We're going to go ahead and head inside and I'll share everything else. So when walking into our front door, this is the view, and I just love this. It's so inviting. The little garden um, table, I guess, or cart is from Hobby Lobby a few years back, and I just love decorating it. It is a little bit more challenging, but so much fun. And on top, we have one of these little grass bunnies, a couple just little faux plants, and then down here, I put a bundle of tulips and a thing of eucalyptus as well as some older books. I just love the mixture of textures. I just think that's perfect. Over here, I did go ahead and hang a little basket. This basket is from Hobby Lobby. I grabbed it after my spring decorate with me video, so that is new. And I just filled it in with some lavender picks as well as some eucalyptus. And although from this angle, you can actually see the stem, it's not too bad from over here. So I really like how that turned out. And to the left of our front door is this cute little entryway table, another one of my husband's and I DIY refinished projects. It was a completely different table, we just added a wooden top and it transformed it. On top, I've grounded all of the decor using a macrame table runner, and I added in this cute little light green tricycle and added in some moss eggs and carrots. I also added in another one of these grass bunnies with more carrots and I thought that that kind of complemented each other. And to pull in those greens, I added another one of these little uh, greenery balls, I guess you'd call them. I don't really know what they're called. And I also have a galvanized metal canister. I just love galvanized metal for both spring and summer. Just off the entryway is our powder room, and we did a couple things in here for spring, nothing too fancy. To start off, we did go ahead and switch out the soap to this beautiful sun-washed citrus. It is by far 
my favorite scent from Path and Body Works, so I definitely recommend this one if you haven't already tried it. It honestly reminds me of childhood. It's, it kind of smells like candy I would eat when I was a kid. On the back of the toilet, we just added in a cute little lavender floral bush. And over here, we added a cute little basket with some eggs, as well as this Bunny Kisses candle that we grabbed at the Target dollar store. On top of our little hutch here, we just added in a few eggs to our apothecary jar. I love that that brings in those muted colors and definitely ties in to the rest of the bathroom. And next, we are in our dining room. Right across the way from the table is this cute little setup here. I went ahead and moved this egg garland from my mantle over here. I just thought that brought a little bit more Easter flair, and I really like how that turned out. But I think my favorite part of my whole home is this floral decor. I created this fresh flower market sign using my Cricut. It's just a reverse canvas project. I shared that in a past video, but I wanted to use that sign as my inspiration. So I added a ton of different florals and different pots, almost as if this was the decor inside of an actual flower shop. So most of these florals are from either Target, Hobby Lobby, or Michaels. And I definitely make sure I'm shopping for a deal, you guys. So again, I'm using a lot more of that galvanized metal. I'm also using another one of those garden stools. I'm even using an antique sugar can or a sugar jar um, from a tea set to hold my florals just to give a mixture of textures, metals, colors, all of it. So down here I finished it off with some Home Sweet Home stamped books and some more florals and another galvanized pot. And for my dining room table, I have it all set up for Easter brunch. I just think this is so stunning with the blues and the pinks, and I just wanna give you a closer look. So for the actual table setting, I am using a woven charger as well as a gold-rimmed plate. Um, the charger is originally from Michael's. I grabbed those a while ago on clearance, and then I grabbed these gold-rimmed plates during the Christmas collection at Hobby Lobby. On top, I have an off-white uh, napkin, which I also grabbed at Michael's on clearance, and a cute little bunny napkin ring holder. Those are from Hobby Lobby this year. I just loved how those look. They actually are the inspiration behind the entire table setup. So, um, For the cutlery, I am using plastic golden cutlery to save a penny because I wanted that gold look but didn't want to break the bank. And on top, I have a cute little ceramic bunny place card holder. I grabbed these, I think, last year at the Target dollar spot. And I think the golden detail on the ears are just so perfect and ties into the rest of the gold. To finish it off, I have some glasses here. This one is from the Dollar Tree, and I shared that in my Tablescape video. But I have additionally added this pink rose goblet. This is actually from Walmart, you guys, and it is so beautiful. I just had to grab a set because I thought they would be perfect with this tablescape, and I just know I will use them all the time. For my centerpiece here, I have a couple things going on. I've grounded it again with another macrame table runner, and I've added in my cute little bunnies. Those originally were on my mantle, but I mentioned in the last video that my living room is under renovation right now, so we're not gonna be seeing that room today because it's not decorated. But I also have this beautiful vintage inspired toolbox. It's actually metal on the side and then wooden on the top. I just love the detail. I added in some eucalyptus as well as these little bouquets from Michaels and some blue hydrangeas to pull it all together. And next to my table is my little farmhouse hutch here. And I have a couple different spring pieces in here, so I wanted to share this with you as well. Here I've added in this bird cage and a little egg tree that I picked up at the Target dollar spot, as well as this beautiful Ray Dunn welcome birdhouse. 
to the side I've added in my wooden candle holders, some battery operated candles, and a little egg wreath again from the Target dollar spot. On the front of the hutch I have hung a DIY bunny pennant garland. I just used book pages from a dollar store book, used my Cricut to cut out some bunnies, and hung it on some tube string. Inside the hutch itself, we have a few different bird cages, I guess, not bird cages, bird houses from Ray Dunn. So I have the mama bird along with the baby bird. And I also have this cute little perch one. Additionally, I have this little peep basket, which was so cute, I couldn't say no. And to finish it off, I have my some bunny loves you ray done mugs and at the end of the table are my giant floating shelves that my husband did make for me on the bottom here we have a couple different things i have used just a cute little wire basket to put in some egg filler and this cute little diy bunny farmhouse bead set using some books i've elevated a cute little mod podge birdie. I've also incorporated some terracotta. I just love terracotta for spring. And I finished off this shelf using this beautiful picnic basket and I just used a pink buffalo check uh, placemat as well as some tulips to tie it all together. Here we've used some more books as well as terracotta to tie in those colors. I've also used a wooden corbel, more florals, and some more LED candles. So like I mentioned before, the living room is under some construction right now, so I'm not going to share anything more than our couch here. But to spruce it up for spring, I just added in some pink throw pillow covers. I just love these ones. They have the little pom-poms on the ends. I grabbed those on Amazon. And I also dug out my white big pillows. I've had these for a while, really love those as well. And I thought it really just brought some color to this very dull couch. I also did get out a pink throw blanket. This one is so pretty for spring. If you look closely, it has cute little birds with some floral arrangements as well as like a little nest with eggs. It's so pretty and so soft. Perfect for the changing weather. Coming into our kitchen, you can see there's quite a bit of spring going on, so we're gonna take it little by little. I'm gonna walk over in here, and I have a couple changes. This was not included in my kitchen decorate with me because these things are just kind of thrown together last minute, but I did grab this beautiful tray from Target. It's from the Threshold brand, and I was really eyeing it during the Christmas season, but I just couldn't bring myself to grab it. So I saved up and I finally was able to pick that up and I'm loving it. I think it's a great way to ground my mixer and a great way to decorate as well. And in front I have like this cute little almost hobnail like yellow bowl and I just put some egg filler and a cute little white grass bunny. Moving over to my stove top, I've gone ahead and stacked some cutting boards back here but if you look closely this center one has a little bunny on it. This one is from the Target dollar spot. I think it was $5 for that cute little cutting board. So cute for spring. And to finish up our little countertop area, I just have this cute little bunny jar with some robin eggs in it, which is my husband and stepson's favorite candy for Easter. So I was happy to grab that for them. On the kitchen island, we have this cute little tiered tray that I decorated. On the top here we have a cute little grass bunny. He was actually on a pick that I took off and I just thought that was so cute to put on a tiered tray. I also have a tiny little terracotta pot that we've added in some of those little robin eggs and this cute Hello Easter mini rolling pin from Hobby Lobby. And on the other side we have another one of those little DIY farmhouse bead bunny garlands that I made. On the second shelf we have another terracotta pot just on its side with some carrots inside, a wooden egg, 
also from Hobby Lobby. And I was lucky enough to grab those cute little bunny measuring spoons from the Target dollar spot. On the bottom here, I just laid out some larger carrots. I added another one of those little grass bunnies, another little terracotta pot with some eggs, some loose little florals that had fallen off other things, and a cute little buffalo check Happy Easter sign. For our kitchen table centerpiece here, I just used this elevated bowl that we normally use for citrus and I added in this cute little wrapped Easter egg. This one is from Target's last year. I think it's the Spritz or Spirits collection. I don't know how to say it. And then I added in some Easter egg filler and I just think that is so cute for spring. And on to the final area for today. Here is my pride and joy, my floating shelves in the kitchen. I have so much to show you on this, so we're gonna start at the very top. So the first thing worth mentioning is this beautiful bunny cake tray. I grabbed this, I think, at the Target dollar spot. I think he was $5. I saw him and could not say no, you guys, he was so cute. I have an obsession with cake plates, so I had to add this one to my collection. And to the right here, I have three cute little bud vases. Those are also from the Target dollar spot during the spring line and an individual tulip in each one. Again, grab those at the Target dollar spot. In the center here, I just have a basket with some of my rolling pins, different shapes and sizes, as well as a cute little tea towel. I love how that looks. And then I also grabbed these little eggs, which kind of reminded me of Grey Dunn, but these ones are from Hobby Lobby, and I just thought they were so pretty. Moving on to my second shelf here. I have my Magnolia Table cookbooks over here just with a cute little white pitcher and a bunch of wooden spoons. On top of my antique scale here, I have a terracotta pot with some more carrots. Hiding over in the corner, I have some little egg holders. I'm gonna be using those in the next couple of weeks when we dye Easter eggs. And my beautiful baby's breath bunny wreath. I actually made this, you guys. I shared all the details over on my Instagram. I share all sorts of DIYs over there. Make sure you're following me. My handle's at so very Veronica. I would love to have you over there as well. To the right here, I have two of my Ray Dunn canisters. I have an Easter candy and an egg hunt. And directly behind it is a cute little bunny egg plate. That's also from the Target dollar spot. I just thought that was so perfect. And to finish this space off, we have another cake plate. As I mentioned, I love them. This one's wooden, some stacked white bowls, and another one of these antique creamer this time with some flowers. And moving down to the bottom. So here is our little coffee station. So we have some coffee beans in here. As you can tell, it's kind of messy because we use it on a daily basis. I have some sugar in this little crock. I also have this spring bunny cookie jar, which has no cookies in it, unfortunately, and my bunny kisses mug, which I thought was so pretty and so, it's, yeah, so pretty because it is pale pink. Underneath the shelves, I hung this cute little cottontail confectionery sign. Um, I thought it was so adorable. I had to pick it up. They also have this one with like black trim with a white background, but I really like the browns and the whites for my personal decor. Underneath those, I have my five little bunnies here. These are all a DIY. I painted each one. They're all from Target. And I grabbed my pom-pom maker and made cute little bunny tails using some sherbet themed yarn. And I just thought these were so cute and perfect for the season. And to finish up, we have my occasion bin. So I follow the account Occasions by Shakira over on Instagram and she has this trend blowing up you guys. So everybody is putting together these bins and they are so much fun and so festive and make such special memories. So the idea is you get a basket of your choice. I grabbed this one from Target. It's from the Magnolia tape or the Magnolia line. Um, and then you put in different things that you would use throughout the season. So paper plates. So I have some different paper plates, larger ones, smaller ones, cute little themed napkins, paper cups. I also added in some sprinkles, a cute little flower waffle maker, 
some cookie cutters that we'll use, and I finished it up with these adorable little pennants that I made. Again, I shared these over on my Instagram, so make sure you check that out as well. Alrighty guys, and that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my home turned out for spring. I just love it. It's so bright, so fresh, and so inviting, and I just love this change of season. I will be sharing more home decor in future videos, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. And if you are interested, I did decorate both baby girl's room and playhouse for spring, and I will have both of those videos linked down below for you. Again, if you're new, make sure you introduce yourself down in the comments. I would love to get to know you guys, and I will see you all in another video. Bye. Stay.